Hello doctors, this is Dr. Janvi. Welcome back to the series of case-based scenario. In this video, we are going to see about a fraction lesion. So from the subject conservative dentistry. So what is a fraction? I think most of you are all familiar with what a fraction is, right? So it is not new to you. So this lesion here is the abfraction lesion. So the abfraction is a non-carious tooth tissue loss. It is a non-carious tooth tissue loss that occurs along the gingival margin. So as you can see here, it is, it is occurring along the gingival margin. It is mechanical loss of tooth structure that is not caused by tooth decay located along the gum line. So this is the same. So tooth tissue is gradually weakened causing tissue loss through fracture and chipping or successively worn away leaving a non-carious lesion on the tooth surface occurs in both dentin and in enamel these lesions generally occur around the cervical areas of the dentition okay so what are the signs and symptoms so the signs and symptoms are they will generally occur in the region of tooth where there is greatest tensile stress located so when there is greatest tensile stress located on the tooth surface they generally occur over there so there are actually three shapes so as you can see in this image three shapes in which they appear that is wedge shaped abfraction lesion so you can see wedge shaped here and a saucer shaped abfraction lesion looks like a cup and saucer the saucer in the cup and uh, a mixed shape abfraction lesion okay so wedge shape is somewhat acute angle saucer shaped it is completely uh, a type of semicircular and mixed shape is both mixed so wedge and saucer shaped lesions are the most common whereas mixed lesions are less frequently identified okay then so clinically we see tooth sensitivity in the associated areas this occurs as because the abstraction lesions appear dentin and cementum is exposed since dentin and cementum are exposed during a fraction lesions there is tooth sensitivity so the dentin and cementum are less dense than tooth enamel and therefore are more susceptible to sensation from thermal and mechanical sources so the treatment which we do is it is usually recommended that when there when the lesion is less than one millimeter it should be monitored at regular intervals for us uh, until we find a sufficient treatment option. So if there are concerns around aesthetics for the patient, then our uh, complaints such as hypersensitivity, dentinal hypersensitivity. So a dental restoration is done using uh, especially what we use. We use GIC or uh, in some cases uh, we use composite okay so aside from this uh, restoration it is also equally important to remove any other possible causative factors so adjustments to the biting surfaces of the teeth are also an important thing to be followed so to alter the upper and lower teeth to come like what happens this uh, when there is a heavy occlusal load due to the tensile stress happening over the cervical areas also sometimes uh, there is a, a possibility of forming of abfraction lesions. So to redirect that occlusal load, we do some adjustments in the biting surfaces. So how we do is we alter tooth surfaces such, such as cuspal inclines, reducing heavy contacts and by removing premature contacts, we do it in that way. So if bruxism is deemed a contributing factor on an, uh, on an occlusal splint or may be effective so if bruxism is there as a contributing factor then occlusal splint is effective for the treatment of eliminating the irregular forces placed on the tooth okay then let us uh, see the clinical scenario so a 46 year old male patient came to you in the operative clinic with a complaint of sensitivity so on clinical examination it has been found that he's having an abfraction lesions in the cervical areas of upper and lower molar and premolar region these abfraction lesions okay so what are these abfraction lesions they are caused by they, are they caused by tooth abrasion we don't know we they didn't they have not uh, given specifically that they have been caused by tooth abrasion right they are uh, shallow bowl shaped lesions that affect molar teeth so of course uh, abfractive lesions are shallow bowl, bowl shaped like the saucer shaped ones that affect molar teeth so in this option uh, they have given specifically that uh, 
they are affecting molar teeth but uh, in the question they have also mentioned premolar so we can't go with this option okay so the result from propagation of cracks to the cervical enamel so yes uh, a fraction lesions result from propagation of cracks through self cervical enamel that is actually true and occur at sites of wear on occlusal surfaces no they are they don't occur on occlusal surface they occur on cervical areas okay so the option here is which is very much close is option c so they result from propagation through cracks of cervical enamel okay if you like our video do subscribe to our youtube channel you can also follow us on instagram at dokshala for dental content at, at dokshala medical for medical content you can also find us on telegram thank you